everyone it's Samara and today I'd like to show you some of the supplies that you're going to need for the art journal challenge um, I am really trying to keep your supply cost to a minimum um, you should with careful planning and using coupons be able to pick up everything for less than $25 don't quote me on that but um, I know that I was able to so the very first thing that you're going to need is a journal you could use something like this. This is the Strathmore Visual Journal. I picked this one up at Michael's. However, um, they're hard to find. Um, <clears throat> one of the Michael's had, had them, but several of the others didn't. And I know some of the other girls were having difficulty finding these at Michael's. This is one, one option. I use the watercolor, the 140 pound. It has nice thick pages, which is perfect for watercoloring. Um, but if you cannot find this journal, you could make your own journal. And so what I would suggest, sorry, went off camera. What I would suggest is that you pick up a pad of either watercolor paper like this Strathmore, or if you want to spend a little bit less, you can get the um, Artist Loft brand. This is available at Michael's. Um, <clears throat> you could pick this up and then you can make your own journal like I did here. This paper right here is straight out of this book. Um, and I show you how to do this in another video. It's very, very easy. It's um, not intimidating at all. And I, like I said, I do prefer to work out of, um, out of a journal like this. So besides your journal, you're going to need some watercolor crayons. I suggest that you brought that you purchase this brand on um, Statler. Um, you could also buy, there's another brand, I'll put the link up in the forums for you to take a look at. Um, you don't need the big set, you just, you know, 12 basic colors. Again, like I said, I'm trying to keep the cost to a minimum. If you want to go out and buy the big set, go for it. More power to you. Um, these will break, they're fragile, so, um, you know, get used to working with smaller pieces. Um, my daughter uses these, she loves them. So this, um is going to be a necessary thing that you're going to want, some watercolor crayons. Then you're going to want to pick up some Sharpies. Um, I prefer the Ultra Fine Point Sharpie. I like this one too, the Sharpie pen, but I usually get whichever one is on sale. So and it was this one the last time I went. Don't pick up the original Sharpies, this type. Um, the, tib, the tip or the nib is too um, it's too broad and it smushes down and you're not able to get the fine points that you're going to want. So that's next. Then next on your list is um, some Sharpie poster paint pens. I got these at my Michaels. They were in a little cage at the front of the store. Um, some people are having difficulty finding them. Do your best. Um, I would consider this one a necessary item. You can do most of your journal without it, but you're going to want it to finish it up. So if you can't get it, order it, and then, you know, wait for it to come in. So um, you're going to want those in the extra fine point. They're a little bit smaller, but they have a nice, nice point. And then if you want to splurge, go ahead and go up to the next size as well and get the fine point. So again, your choice. And then lastly, You'll want to pick up some brushes. I got these. These are from Michaels. They're the Artist Loft brand. They were very inexpensive. Um, you're going to want just a couple of brushes. Don't go out and spend a whole lot of money. Just some cheap, inexpensive brushes will do fine, but not the kind that comes in the watercolor container. Let's see if I have one of those. You'll see. Yeah, you're not going to want something like this. You know, you're going to want something that's more, um, has more bristles and it's a, um, better bristle. So those are your items that you're going to want. Um, so have fun shopping 
and um, let me know if you're having difficulty finding something and um, if you can't find everything that's fine too you can still get started with us and um, I can't wait to get started see you soon